Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly use basic shapes in PowerPoint to make these smooth repeating animations. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation and then right click and choose Layout Blank. Now let's draw the circles. So we'll go up to the oval option, click anywhere, right click, format shape, then go to the size. And I'm going to make this one one centimeter by one centimeter. And then we'll select no fill. I will also center this on the page and now press Control D to duplicate it. Just going to quickly make another nine circles, all a centimeter bigger, but all centered. So every time we click Control D, I can now make four centimeters, Control D again, five centimeters, and so on until we've got 10. So there's our 10 circles. I'm now going to select them all, Control G to group, then click on the middle bottom handle and drag it up to make these ovals, and then Shift Control G to ungroup again. So now let's add the animation. While they're all selected, I can go to Animations, Add Animation, and choose Motion Path Lines. Now we can toggle the animation pane, right click on all of these, choose Effect Options, drag Smooth End up to two seconds, and choose Auto Reverse. So the smooth end will slow it down as it reaches the bottom part of the animation, and then Auto Reverse will get it to go back to its start position. Effectively adding easing to the animation to give it that smooth effect. So we'll click OK and run that. It's looking good. And now we just add delays to give it the staggered look. So I'm going to click on the first item in the animation pane and make sure that happens with previous. That will make sure it starts as soon as you play the slide without having to click. And for all the subsequent ones, I'm just going to add quarter of a second of delay. So the delay is building up in increments of quarter of a second. And if we play that, it starts off smoothly, but then it will go to the end and stop. So now we just have to do one final thing, which is to make it repeat. So I can click on the bottom one in the animation pane, then shift click the top one, that selected all of them, right click, choose effect options, and then under timing, I can say repeat until end of slide. So that will just effectively loop it right until you click onto the next slide. So let's play that. Great, there's our animation. I'm just going to move it up very slightly. So I'm going to select all of them, hold down shift, and drag it up a little bit. Let's just show you how to quickly add the gradient effect that I had in the introduction. So I'm just going to quickly paste in the gradient backgrounds that I had to save time. But to recreate these, you basically right click on the background, choose Format Background, go to Gradient Fill, Linear, and then I used a 225 degree angle and just selected a lighter colour to a dark colour. Now we can go onto the slide that's got our circles. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And we can go to line and choose gradient line. And for this, I'm going to drag these gradient stops off because I don't need them. Click on the one on the left and choose the dark purple and click on the one on the right and choose the light blue at the bottom. And I also want the type to be radial. That's looking good. As a bonus, I'll show you how you can quickly change the shape to make variations of this animation without having to recreate anything. So I'll take a copy of these, Control C, 
go to my other gradient, Control V. I'm just going to pick the gradient for this so it matches the color. That's looking good. And now if we go to shape format, while they're all selected, I can go to edit shape, change shape, and you can basically change it to any of the shapes in here. And I'm just going to choose this one, the parallelogram that I had in the introduction. Nice. So there's a quick way of using shapes and a basic animation motion path to create some smooth looking, interesting and unique animations. If you'd like to download the source file for this, you can check out my Patreon link in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.